Good morning everyone. Now I am taking one problem that is on the Rolle's theorem and how we can verify the Rolle's theorem. First, we have an idea about the Rolle's theorem statement. What is the Rolle's theorem statement? The first condition of the Rolle's theorem is the function is a continuous function in given closed interval and the function is continuous in the closed interval and a derivable in the open interval and f of a equal to f of b means the end functional values are equal if the three conditions are satisfies if any function then by the Rolle's theorem there exists at least one point c belongs to in the open interval a comma b such that f dash of c is equal to zero that is the statement of the Rolle's theorem. What is the statement of the Rolle's theorem? Rolle's theorem statement is let f of x be a function defined in closed interval a comma b then it satisfies the condition one is f of x is continuous in closed interval a comma b and the second one f of x is derivable on open interval a comma b and the third one f of a equal to f of b then there exists here at a comma b such that three conditions are satisfied then there exists a point c belongs to open interval a comma b such that f dash of c equal to d this is the statement of the Rolle's theorem. Okay. Here, what is the function, the given function, given that or let f of x is equal to x into x plus 3 into e power minus x by 2. It is in minus 3 comma 0. Okay. Here, the function d2, you can multiply x squared plus 3x into e power minus x by 2 okay this is a function this is a combination of the polynomial and exponential we know that the exponential is a continuous function in any interval and the polynomial is also continuous function therefore here clearly f of x is a continuous function in closed interval minus 3 comma 0. It is the first condition is over. Next to second one, we can derivative the given function. It is in uv form. f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x into e power minus x by 2. f dash of x is equal to first u derivative that is 2x plus 3 into e power minus x by 2 plus v derivative u is right as it is v derivative is e power x derivative is e power x that is e power minus x by 2 again minus x by 2 derivative is minus 1 by 2 therefore f of 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 3 minus 1 by 2 into x square minus 3 by 2 x into e power minus x by 2. Okay. Simplify. This is equal to 4x plus 6 minus x square minus 3x whole by 2 into e power minus x by 2. Then f dash of x is equal to 
फोर एक्स माइनस थ्री एक्स इज सिक्स प्लस एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर बाय टू इनटू ई पावर माइनस एक्स बाय टू इट इज ए डैश ऑफ एक्स नाउ हियर ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री बी इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट इज द डेरिवेबल सेकंड इज देवर एप ऑफ एक्स इज Therefore, f of x is derivable on open interval minus three comma zero. Okay. Here, third one. Here, a comma b equal to minus three comma zero. That is nothing but a equal to minus three, b equal to zero. Then f of a equal to f of minus three equal to right minus three three minus three whole square it's nine plus three into minus three minus nine e power minus three by two it is equal to zero and f of b equal to f of zero this is equal to zero into g Zero plus zero into e power zero. This is also zero. Therefore, f of minus three equal to f of zero. Therefore, the relation f of e equal to f of a equal to f of b. Okay. The third condition is also satisfied. Now, by the Rolle's theorem, okay, the third condition is also satisfied. By the Rolle's theorem, we can find the c value. By Rolle's theorem. There exists a point C belongs to open interval a comma b such that f dash of c equal to zero. Here, f dash of x equal to six plus x minus x square by two to e power minus x by two. Find out the f dash of c is equal to zero is a relation. Then Here, six plus c minus c square by two whole into e power minus c by two equal to g. Here, six plus c minus c square is equal to zero. E power minus c by two is equal to zero. This is taking two. It is two. Is nothing but six plus c minus c square equal to zero. Taking to right side, it will be zero. C square minus C minus six equal to zero. Three to the six. C square minus three C plus two C minus six equal to zero. C is taking common. C minus three plus two is taking common. C minus three equal to zero. C plus two into C minus three equal to zero. Here, C equal to Minus two, minus three. Okay, here, sir, c equal to minus two and three. Here, c equal to minus two is belongs to interval minus three comma zero, but c is equal to three does not belongs to minus three comma zero. Therefore, at least a point means c equal to minus two in the interval, open interval. Minus three comma zero. Okay, here from this, e power minus c by two is equal to zero. Taking both sides log, 
log e power minus c by 2 is equal to log 0. Log 0 equal to 1 minus c by 2. 1 c equal to minus c equal to 2. c equal to minus 2. From any one of the factor then we are getting c equal to minus 2. c equal to minus 2 is in the interval of minus 3 comma 0. It is the Procedure of the Rolle's theorem, we can find out at least a point in the open interval A comma B. Okay. This is the verification of the Rolle's theorem. What is the verification means? We find the one point in the interval of minus 3 comma 0. That is nothing but at least a point means C equal to minus 2 is in the interval of A comma B. So, Rolle's theorem therefore Rolle's theorem verified. Okay. This is the way. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and share to your friends. Thank you.